Well, anyone who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. He ain't get worse. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Alex Pereira, ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tom Espinal. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan Pereira! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here we go with round one action. We'll see how Alex Pereira chooses to proceed. He is going to have the striking advantage against most of the men in this division, and that is likely how he's going to choose to attack tonight. Leg kicks are truly the stuff of legend, and he doesn't throw full force, just touching that lead leg, and oftentimes all it takes is one to change the complexion of the entire fight. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook over. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Spinall going for the takedown, he misses. Finds his range with the jab. Wow. Oh, nice. How 
good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this stuff. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a punch fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Aspinall's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Beautiful ground He's strikes landing. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Constantly a moving target. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Another ground and pound strike lands. Well, eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid damage on the ground. You don't want to be comfortable on your back. When you're taken down, you got to make sure you're active, and that's exactly what he's doing. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. 90 seconds to go. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Pudding. Avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done. Ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. The high kick lands. 20 seconds left. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Went for the inside leg kick. Right. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, breathe, respira, respira. Você tem que ir com calma, tá? You gotta slow it down. You gotta be calm, okay? You're being overly aggressive. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, ahead. round two. All right, here we go with our next round. I thought he showed some great ground defense skills in the previous round. Doesn't want to hang out off his back fighting there for too long, but that said, not a whole lot of damage being inflicted. Well, it's not ideal position. You know, you don't want to be on your back. But if you are there, you want to make sure that you're moving. You want to make sure that you're controlling your opponent's posture. You want to make sure you're not getting brutalized by the top fighter. He really did a good job of limiting the damage he took while he was in a bad position. 
cheers on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Now they separate. Pineda's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice job by him defensively there. Great timing on that double leg. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Aspinall's in half guard. Now he's going full mount. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Aspinall's back in full mount. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Yeah, Paige and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out there. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. with the ground and pound here by Aspinall. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Under two minutes to go. Aspinall's in half guard. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. How in the world did he escape that submission? All right, trying to pass here. As Grover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Under a minute now to go round two. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. And now he's got the back. Aspinall's back in full mount. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, and the oh. sounds on round two. Oh. All right, senta aí. Senta aí, respira. Olha, você perdeu esse round. You lost this round. So what you gotta do is you gotta outstrike this guy. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. 
he's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it take an effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice leg kick there by Pereira. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Pineda. Ooh, another shot to the head. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Useful strike there, the hook is clean. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Mm, that was nice. All right, working inside the close guard now. Aspinall's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Big grounded pound. Big right hook there by the champ. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, right into mount. Great shot from the top position. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Now he's got a good body position, yo. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Aspinall's in half guard now. Oh, in the mouth. He's got to move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Aspinall's back in half goal. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however, compromise. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again, nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line and he's playing catch-up. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock it to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You can't knock that ball kick the time. He's right for the pickle. Go and pick the fruit. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this fight. Oh, flying knee to the head. Nice kick there by Pereira. We got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work... Come on, come on now! Oh, that sub is tight. Great submission defense he's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Pineda's eye starting to swell now. 
Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Aspinall's oh, nose stop. is bleeding stop, now. Stop, stop. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? Ready to fight. Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This will be the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Well, we may have the best cut man and woman in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Oh, nice. Awesome level change. Great timing. Aspinall's in half court. Oh, nice headlock. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he's moving sub, elected to keep the dominant position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Aspinall. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Aspinall, ground and pound from half goal. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he keeps going. Oh, oh. Knee to the body. Oh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more of those. I cannot believe how damaging that strike has become. All right, he's got him in the north-south position. Aspinall's trying for the Kimura submission here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Locked in on the Kimura now. Now he's got to get his knees above the head. Separate the Oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Good work from the top here by Aspinall. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Just over two minutes now to go. Aspinall's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he escapes. There goes another one, and once again, he just bats it away. Great submission defense. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Pineda's back inside control here. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. 
Working for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. It's tight. It's tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Nice work, guys. Come on. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Yep, got to be very careful there. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pudding. Seconds to go. Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Stop! All right, deep breath for me. Respira, respira fundo. Tá comigo, né? Então, olha, não deixe ele botar você no chão. Ele tá tentando te finalizar. You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Beautiful punch lands. Oh! He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. He loaded up there on that high kick. Blocks the shot. Really starting to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for for continuing to attack that. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Neon belly, big strikes, landing here. Aspinall's back in side control. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some setting up a submission. Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Pudain. Great job landing from the top position. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack drivers. 
Well, he's got his back now. Espinol's right back to the full mount here. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Padilla. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aspinall. Another strike gets through from the top position. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Aspinall. But ain't his cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Side control now and certainly up. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, oh, Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as he can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.